Hi, it's Chris Bailey again. I'm a Blender YouTuber over at C Bailey Film. Today I'm making this tutorial with CG Cookie. Now don't forget to check out cgcookie.com. There's a ton of amazing resources and videos there for you to check out. We're gonna be taking a look at the top six nodes that we talked about in the last video to make any kind of material in Blender, but today we're gonna try and make six materials using those six nodes, and I'm gonna try and do it in under six minutes. So let's see if I can pull it off. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna make uh, some butter first, why not? I'm gonna take my noise texture, I'm gonna take a uh, color ramp, bring it down, and I'll take the factor of my noise into the factor of my color ramp. And then what I'll do is I'll take this color and I'll bring it up over into base color and I'll give myself a nice butter color. Um, and I'm just gonna have these two colors be like slightly, slight variations of each other. Um, not too different, so I'm actually gonna color pick this other material and we just pull it into the saturation just a little bit, maybe darken it just a touch, not too much, just to create a little bit of variation in that shader. Um, it's a, it's even hard to see, but it just helps with realism when you do stuff like that. I'm gonna take, uh, let's see, I'm another one right here. I'll duplicate this, bring it down, and I'll grab my factor into the color ramp here and I'll pipe this into my bump map. Uh, I'm gonna bring my strength down um, and I'm gonna take my scale down as well like this, and I think what I'll do is I'll back off my roughness and also maybe my detail a little bit until I get it just right. And then I'm gonna come over to subsurface scattering and I'm gonna turn this on probably about 0.5. This allows light to kind of pass into the object itself. I'll change the color of the subsurface to something that's a little bit yellowy. Um, and then I'll also go into the radius and this basically stands for red, green, and blue. And it's saying what color uh, passes the furthest into the object. So whatever number here is highest will kind of appear in the object. So if I set this first one to five, it's gonna, we're gonna start seeing a lot more red appear. And I might set the green to two and I might bring my bump strength up. Touch and I'll take my roughness up a little bit and uh, yeah, there you go. Now let's make some bathroom tiles. Let's take this Rona texture, let's duplicate it, we'll bring it right down. I'm gonna switch this over to Minkowski and I'm gonna bring my texture coordinate down here and I'll pipe this into the generated. I'll take this and I'll go ahead and plug the uh, distance into the base color and I'll take a color ramp and drag it in here. And that's right, I wanna use my UVs. So I'm actually gonna pipe my UVs into this. I'm gonna drag these around and I'm gonna turn randomness all the way off. Okay, I'm gonna set my color ramp to constant and then I'm gonna drag this in until I can see stuff and then I'm just gonna change my exponent until, my exponent, excuse me, until I've got it. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug it into my height of my bump map and I think I'll invert it because I want the grout lines to be going down and then I can create a new color ramp, pipe this distance into that, bring this over into the base color and now I can think about what my color I want my tiles to be. I think I'll make them kind of like a blue. Uh, blue color. Okay, next I'm gonna make some rock. I'm gonna take my noise texture, I'll bring this one down. I'll take my color ramp as well, and I will take the factor of my noise, and I'll plug it into the factor here. I'll bring this color into the base color, and I'll also bring this down into the height of my bump map. Now I'm gonna increase my scale, and then I'm gonna take my detail and my roughness, and I'm gonna crank those up. Okay, next I'll make something sci-fi, because why not? I'm gonna take my Veroni texture, bring it down here, and I'll take a color ramp, and I'll plug the distance into the factor, and I'll make my base color a dark color here, and I'll take this color and I'll plug it into the emission, and I'll turn up my emission strength, so things are nice and glowy. And uh, I'm gonna take my random and turn it down a bit, and I'm gonna bring these in like so. I'm gonna switch this to Manhattan, and then I'm gonna take my Verona texture and I'll take the distance and I'll plug it into the vector. And now I just wanna back off some of this a little bit. I'll adjust my scale and I'll take the white and give it a color. Okay, next I'll make a planet. So I'm gonna take my noise texture and I'm gonna take my color in and I'll just plug the factor into there and I'll take the color and I'll put it into the base color. And I'll drag this down to start cutting off regions like so. I'll pull this up and I'm gonna take the white and I'm gonna give it kind of like a land massy kind of color. Um, and then I'll take the black and I'll give it an oceany looking color. And then what I'll do is I'll increase the roughness and the detail. Get that right. Bring these together to cut off more of that landmass just to make sure that I've got proper coastal regions. 
Uh, and then what I can do is I can come down here and I can take this color ramp and I can um, make it black and white. You could also just plug it straight in with the color, but we will get slightly different result. Um, and I just like to simplify it for myself. Put that into the height, drag this out, turn off invert. And just get this right so that the coastal areas don't have anything going on. Lastly, I'll make some lava. I'm going to take my Verona texture, bring it down here, take my color ramp, bring it right here. I'll plug my distance into my factor and I'll plug the color ramp into the color. I'm going to turn on, uh, actually I use the noise texture. I think that'll be a little bit better for me. And I'll turn my scale up and I'll turn on distortion. Um, and then I'm going to make this thing kind of two tones of black, black and super black. Go. I'm going to take this color and I'm going to pipe it into the height of my bump map. I'm going to take this uh, color ramp, I'll duplicate it, bring it down, and I'll make this one uh, a bright red color. And I'll drag this like this, take this factor, put it into here, and I'll take this color and stick it into the emission. And then I'll just move this around until I start getting a little bit of, except this is on the high bits, so I'm going to flip this around so it's in the low bits down here. And if I bring them right together, it's going to look like nice cracks. And then I can take my strength, turn that right up. So there you go. That was a really close look at creating six materials with just these six nodes in under six minutes. Bam. Well, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed that challenge. I wonder if you could do it too. Let me know what you think what was your favorite material. Uh, send us what you come up with over on cgcookie.com. We'd love to see what you come up with. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. See ya.